In the biking world, you get some weird motorcycles. I mean, you get the three-wheeling Yamaha Niken, the Royal Enfield diesel-powered motorcycle, the rotary-powered Norden Classic. I mean, the list goes on and on. But today, we are going to take a look at a really crazy motorcycle. This is the Bystella 500. The bike engine is designed and built by Czech engineer Marek Foltis, and this crazy dude built a 10-cylinder radial motorcycle. But then because 10 cylinders just wouldn't cut it, he added a supercharger. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, it's a radial, two-stroke engine. All of that squeezed into a Java 18 motorcycle, which used to make only 14 horsepower out of a tiny two-stroke air-cooled engine. But why? Why would anyone build this? Well, the madman behind this bike said that the main goal behind the project was to create his own engine design, something that had never been used before in any other vehicle. He wanted to do all the calculations and to design everything himself. So the obvious choice was a supercharged two-stroke radial engine with 10 cylinders. And the insanity doesn't stop. Now, when reading through the spec sheet of this thing, I had to do a double take when I saw that this thing has not one, but five mini roots superchargers. The whole bike is just crazy. Now, this motorcycle has one crankshaft, two rows of five cylinders, and that crazy engine is connected to a four-speed gearbox. So, how much power does this 500cc 10-cylinder crazy thing make? Well, according to the information Marek has shared on his website, the Bystella 500 has a calculated power output of 120 horsepower, which isn't bad for a 500cc motorcycle. However, it has been restricted to just 60 horsepower because of safety reasons. Now all of the 10 cylinders are fueled using a central fuel intake with a big carburetor. To ensure that the motorcycle doesn't seize even at higher revs, there is an additional pump on the inside of the fuel tank to feed the carburetor. Now this dude reckons that the bike could in theory accelerate all the way to 220 km per hour, although he says that he wouldn't recommend it. Now, 220 km an hour doesn't sound crazy, but 220 km on a small, old-school motorcycle with no fairings would not just be crazy and dangerous, but also super unpleasant. Okay, so could you ride it on the road? Is this thing road legal? Well, yes, although the road legal version has been restricted to produce only 12 horsepower in order to comply with safety regulations and norms. At least the bike only weighs 155 kilograms, which is super light. But I have to say, this thing won't be fast by any measure of the imagination. But why just 12 horsepower? Why go from 120 to 60 and now all the way down to 12? Well, the brakes and suspension are still those that were used on the original Jawa 18 motorcycle. And remember, the original motorcycle only made 14 horsepower, so the brakes aren't all that great and neither is the suspension. That means that the Bystella, again, for safety reasons, has a top speed of 62 miles an hour in its actual road-going version. So if we're honest, the crazy 10-cylinder supercharged engine is so unnecessary in this specific application. It's more of a talking piece than anything else. You won't feel the extra power, you won't be able to use any of that 120 horsepower. So why over-engineer it so heavily? It seems to be a case of because he could. Now I know he wanted to do something completely different and push himself, but why not then just put it in like a bigger, better engineered motorcycle or re-engineer the rest of the motorcycle to fit this crazy engine so you can actually use this power because now it just kind of feels like a massive waste. But let me know down below what you think. Do you like the bike? Do you dislike it? Do you wish you could that he actually used more of the engine in the actual road going version and modified it a bit more so you could actually use it and not just have a 12 horsepower, because now you can just like get the normal Java 18. The Java actually makes more power. So 
yeah, I didn't really see the point of this motorcycle. But yeah, let me know down below what you think. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you'll like all of my other stuff. So just go through it, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.